Today, I build every sport in LEGO. Let's get into it. Starting out with golf, I decided to build a putting green, which ironically is probably my least favorite part about the golf course. I added a nice sidewalk, some trees, a sand trap, some water, and a nice flag to round it all off. I then populated it with some minifigures. One, two, three, four, five. That should be good. And then I added some golf balls and uh -huh. called it good. For basketball, I decided to build a Lego basketball hoop that I can flex all my dunking skills on. And as well as that, I used a nice freeform sidewalk along with me and Peter Parker in a nice basketball street 1v1. To kick off WrestleMania. Oh, oh it goes wow. Rollins. Oh my goodness, no. Ballers with a massive oh. fight. Ballers going for the run with a. Oh my goodness, no. Ballers going for the leg. Seth Rollins wins the Intercontinental Title. So, for soccer, if you've been keeping up with soccer for a while, you probably know that the FIFA World Cup is literally next week. So, I decided to build the trophy that the winner will receive when they win the cup. Here's the final product for the trophy. It's probably not the best FIFA LEGO trophy ever considering the fact that it's the wrong size, it's hollow, and the wrong color. But hey, I don't have unlimited bricks, and if you guys want to change that, get LEGO to hire me. Next up, for archery, I decided to make a rather simple build. By simply stacking base plates on top of one another, I was able to obtain a decent looking target as used in archery. And yeah, I don't think it turned out too terribly bad. As you guys probably know, for the Winter Olympics, the conditions are very cold, so I'm going to be grabbing my Lego Zang minifigure and putting him to the test to see if he can endure all of the hardships that a true member of the Olympics would have to face. Good luck, pal. The minifigure is fully submerged. We'll come check on it later. We got it, guys. Well, I would definitely say that this minifigure passes the test. Hey guys, I'm currently in the middle of recording this video and I need to pause the video right here and tell you guys thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I just hit it. I just want to thank you guys so much for this achievement. I never thought I would get it this soon. Um, and I honestly just couldn't do it without you guys. This is absolutely insane. But anyhow, back to the video. Finally, for skateboarding, I decided to make a cool ramp that I could flex all my skateboarding abilities on. And in the end, it turned out like... Yes, I know, Qu quite the build, right, right guys? With this simple two-piece design, the build has it all. It can be a nice little plane of grass with a 1x4 in it, or you can think of it as this insane ramp to send Mr. Miyagi down. Maybe. You know what guys? I'll admit it. This build belongs in the trash. <laughs>